before we pivot to assignment China, self-directed assignment China, if people ask us, if people ask me, they ask us, why are you apparently not a fan of pro-Ukrainian voices on YouTube? Well, I'm very upfront about where my biases lay. I am, mark my words and listen, mark my words and listen, mark my words and listen. I am a China Chinese communist, a pioneer. I am if I have nothing against any groups. I just this is just the perfect contrast. What I am a China Chinese communist. I am not as a Chinese American evangelical Christian. I China's. So no, nothing against, you know, Christianity or, you know, Chinese American Christianity. It's just to draw a political contrast as as opposed to uh, you know, uh, 美国天主教,华人, uh, you know, Christians, Catholics, etc. You know, basically, project, self-directed project China. We're no longer going to talk about China politics. We are going to, for the next six months, when, when we are, for the, actually, for the next six months, rolling into the next year, and the year after, and the year after, and the year after, and the year after. This is the idea that not, not six months, but the years after, years after, years after, years after, uh, living, working, uh, basically, you know, possibly getting married in, in the motherland to a true faithful believing party comrade female. We're not going to talk about politics. We're going to cover military history from the Qing Dynasty all the way to the Northern Exped Expedition. There's a difference between talking about how our socialist mother, not, well, it wasn't socialist back then. <laughs> if, well, if you understand historical materialism, uh, the march towards socialism, everything is from the cave societies, the tribal societies, the, the society of the water mill is a low level society. The society of the steam engine is a higher level society. The society with petroleum is getting closer to socialism. The society of nuclear power generation is even closer to socialism. A society that reaches fusion nuclear reaction is probably a socialist society. So in terms of trajectory, uh, the, the basically going to or from, from cave-based dwelling to a socialist society that basically, that's going from living in caves with primitive technology to a society that has nuclear fusion. Socialism is powered by technology based on the advancements in the level of the material productive forces, which basically at a given epoch of history, there are different means of production. So we don't need to get into a scientific Marxism, but we are experts of Marxism. We are basically basically the equivalence of PhDs of scientific socialism. But basically, we're going to cover in person how China invented the gun, not just Zhongguo Huoyao, but also Zhongguo Huopao. Uh, not only the gun, you know, basically powder gun, but basically there's all these different technologies that are related to military science, including the gravity landmine. Landmine. Um, Basically, I'm, we're not sure if we're even allowed to say this online, but basically, this is historic educational. Uh, basically, landmine, uh, Chinese invention of landmine, of bombs, uh, you know, in a historical educational context. Uh, landmine, uh, you know, basic gravity landmines, uh, certain naval landmines, bombs, uh, basically, uh, the, the, the craftsmanship of the sword that was made to perfect in quality, uh, and also the uh, uh, gunpowder powder and the gun. So that's um, our, our primary angle 
of independent research as an academic, as both an academic and self-directed political pet project is to basically the, discuss in an objective manner the invention of the gun in China, of China, by China, and the gun spreading to the rest of the world uh, eventually and coming back full circle. That's the project. That's all.